Hi, here it is, the Bacon Butty. We're in the lovely Brasco Lounge in Liverpool City Centre and I'm joined by the lovely Jake Nolan today to discuss a lovely win for the Reds, a lovely win for the Reds at Old Trafford once again, 3-0 over Manchester United. And I sort of wanted to come up with this from a bit of a different angle, really, Jake, because you, know, you were born in 1993, I was born in 1995, yeah. uh, famously just after Everton won a trophy, so I've never seen Everton do that, which is good. Uh, <laughs> they, look, they look like they're on the way out at the moment. Um, but sticking with Manchester United and sticking with Liverpool for, for now, we basically grown up with just a childhood of torture at the hands of, of Manchester United. Think about all the you know, great players who, who played for them, all the great wins that they've had over Liverpool. And we were, we were actually kind of lucky in a, in a sense, I guess, that you know, we went through the Julia era where, where he gets a couple of wins against United. We've had a couple of managers who have been a, a bogey for them. There's the 4 1 under, the four one under Rafa. But it feels like in recent years, the extent to which that tide has turned is, is undoing a lot of childhood trauma. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was a misery, wasn't it, growing up and watching <laughs> Man United kind of win everything and they were imperious and sort of like, for me, are still the kind of yardstick of that's what you want to try and get to, those yeah. type of standards. And it's a compliment, but I hate them, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but, yeah, you know, in recent years with the players that we've got and the manager that we had and maybe the manager now we've, now we've got, um, you know, we switched out in the head and it's still for me, you know, days like yesterday, whether you're there or watching it in pubs or watching it at home with loved ones, they're still the days that really, like, you're in football for, aren't they? Doing the Manx on their own patch. And then, like, theatre of dreams, they call it, don't they? Yeah. It's fucking not dreams anymore, <laughs> is it, mate? It's fucking theatre of nightmares for them. Um, and, you know, part of me feels a little bit sorry for them because, you know, we were, we've were we been there ourselves, yeah. you know, when they've been doing us, but don't ever recall them doing us the dirty like we've done them no. the last few years. And, um, yeah, long may it continue. And that's, that's the thing, there is, there is obviously the sort of, there's a tinge of the ownership thing ar around them and that's where the, the, there does come a bit of sympathy because like you say, we've been there un under the bad ownership as well. But I think the thing that hits the most for me now is like, off the back of yesterday, it just felt like another routine win. And, and I'm not saying that to like gild the lily by, by, like to any extent, but it just feels like, listen, it's, it's, let's make no mistake about it, it's Slot's first big win of the season. It's, it's yeah. the one that's the sort of, the big rival and all that's the one that comes with that historical factor to it but in terms of the golfing quality between the teams I think you see it writ large on, on the pitch there yesterday we're we're so so far ahead of them as a football club oh massively so and that, and that comes with you know from the top down and, and the years that we've that we've had you know in sort of incline and then them sort of going down with the Glazers obviously now they've got the new fella in but I think ultimately that's that's where, where, where we've landed is, is is that but make no mistake about it it's you know, what's happened in the past under Jürgen has happened. You know, yesterday was a big day for Arnie Slot and a big mm. day for this football team, and it is a new era. Um, and I was a little bit nervous going in, because I don't think, as bad as they are, I don't think they're as bad as what people make out. You know, they got, they got beat by Brighton last week. Loads of teams that get beat by Brighton this season, they look really, really good. Um, they're fucking bananas. Yeah. They are absolutely so bananas, amazing. and I think they'll probably be a better team once they get rid of the manager and get a new manager in, but they're not far off. They're, you know, they're, they are top four team in and around. So I was really nervous, and, but Liverpool have been great, and you know, I'm not really one for XGs and sort of Twitter tactics and stuff like that. But the way we're playing is great. Right. You know, it's a lot more controlled. If, if you know, if Jurgen was heavy metal football, this is like yacht rock. You yeah. know what I mean? It's a bit, it's a bit more chilled, a bit more on my vibe now. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, and, and it just seems so relaxed. Everyone knows the jobs. Everyone knows there's more. We don't ever seem like we're really up against it and, and you know like we're we're racing to get back and we're all out of position it's all seemed really nice to, and the side and it is total footballish yeah. um credit to the manager there that was a big day for him yesterday absolutely and, and i found myself watching that yesterday and almost having the i guess like the the emotional scars coming out of, of what united have been like in the past where i'm watching players like mainu and i don't think he had his, his greatest game in his stretch of imagination he's probably one of their, their worst players in the because i think of how overexposed he is but you know, he's clearly a great young talent, Garnacho, I think is, is a great young talent. And I'm watching all these lads and being like, oh, they could be something for United. And it's all, it almost like yeah. almost starts to worry him because you're like, oh, maybe it is the, the next coming of their next phase. But you know, look around the, the picture, the talent we've got. And it's not only the, the sort of top-end talent, Virgil van Dijk and Mo Salah are both absolutely imperious in that game. Trent Alexander-Arnold, you go, you go through 1-11 to 11, and I think there's great performance all over the pitch. But lads like Ryan Gravenberg, again, stepping up to the plate, Yubu Kanate, all, all these lads who are, you know, even Trent, who's only still like 26 years old, I think. They're all a part of our next generation of our team as well, or, or should be. I mean, we're hoping that yeah, what Trent yeah. was saying yesterday, Matt was going to come back to get that kiss from the camera back, yeah. means that we'll be back next season. But YouTube, 
Press the button, become a member of the Anfield Wrap from the heart of the city of Liverpool. The best way to enjoy all your Liverpool-based videos, everything you need, every single day, it is the Anfield Wrap.